Welcome everybody, we are at Founder World in San Francisco. Joining me today in the studio is Shane Kelly. He's the founder and managing director at Wolverine Angel Networks. Shane, thank you for joining. Thank you for having me. Of course. So tell us a little bit about your angel network. What makes it different? Well, I think what makes us different is that we actually take advantage of technology to bring all of our investors together. And all of our investors, by the way, are University of Michigan alumni. So we're kind of leveraging that affinity to bring alumni together to invest together. And so that is how our fund is structured. And that is very different than kind of a traditional fund. Yeah. Um, and that's why we chose to use AngelList to, to structure our fund as a syndicate. So is that how you found the LPs? Was through AngelList? How people no, subscribe? No, those are all through personal relationships. Right. We just use the AngelList technology right. to kind of bring the, the investors together yep. so that we can also take advantage of all their intellectual capital, right? So that we, they, we can kind of put our investors to work for our portfolio companies. Interesting. So obviously, University of Michigan is a very international university. You have alumni all around the world. Uh, is it, are the LPs the same thing for alumni from all around the world? Yeah, you're absolutely right. I mean, you know, we have folks from Hong Kong to New York. Uh, and, you know, that is one thing that's unique about our network is that it's over 540,000 living alumni. Um, it is one of or possibly the largest living alumni base on the planet. Wow. <laughs> so officially affiliated with the school or is it a... No, yeah. it's independent of the school. Um, it's just all of the alumni sure. are, are our investors. and so. You know, I think in the future, um, you know, obviously I go and, and talk at University of Michigan. I'm, uh, I'm not a teacher. I'm, I don't work for them. Uh, but yeah, you know, we always, you know, we're, we're looking at kind of launching a program in the near future um, that, uh, that will give additional kind of benefits to University of Michigan alumni. Very cool. So where is the fund itself based? So I sit in Los Angeles, but our investors are everywhere. And so where do you invest? So our first two investments we just launched earlier this year, okay. and our first two investments were actually in Los Angeles, um, but the companies that we're looking at now are across the country. Very cool. So we won't invest outside of the United States though. Right. So being an angel network, uh, is it correct to assume it's an early stage investment fund? That's right. right. We think of it as, Everything up to Series A. Sure. And Series A kind of Valley Series A or Series A rest of the country Series A? Sorry? So I find that sometimes Series A differs. Like, I mean, first institutional by geography. Route. Yeah, by geography. So, I mean, Series A here could be you know, $100 million. So Series A in somewhere like Nebraska might be like a million dollars. You're absolutely right. I mean, and we're really looking at mostly, you know, investments that are outside of the Bay Area. Okay. Um, idea being that there is a tremendous amount of capital here. <laughs> so does our uh, little check, um, you know, do, do we want to start investing up here? We, I'm sure we will, yeah. um, but that's not the target. Cool. Uh, it's mostly everywhere else in the country. <laughs> that's right. Is there, and there's a lot of funds that are, are, are doing that as well, right? Kind of secondary markets and looking there where there's less sharks in the water, right? Oh, yeah. Um, so I guess I'm wondering also, technologies that you're interested in investing in, is there anything specific that you guys like that's exciting you right now? You know, there's not uh, a specific kind of focus that we have to abide by. Um, I, the general rule of thumb is, do we have enough expertise among our investors to really add value to the company? That's the question. And if we come up with a yes, then it's a sector that we can invest in. It also it has to be capital efficient. We're not going to invest in pharma or medical devices or anything like that. Um, but, um, but there is an area that I'm really excited about. Um, there are a couple. One is entertainment technology. Okay. So I spent several years uh, doing film finance and distribution uh, at a startup that raised um, a, a, a lot of money and, and really scaled and had some success. And, and so the, injecting technology into that content life cycle, right. we're definitely interested in kind of companies that are, that are in that space. The other area I really like is just simple fact, right? 
there are two thirds of the world's population is not connected to the internet. So we're going to have about three billion people, some people estimate, joining the internet in the next six years. That's that awesome. is a huge, huge shift. Uh, economically, culturally, there's going to be a lot going on there. So we're looking at the technologies that would enable that, and then the application layer that would run on top of it. So the building for the next billion type, type mantra, right? Exactly, exactly. And, you know, and, and most people think of just international when, when, you, uh, when you think about connectivity, but the truth is that there are over 60 million Americans who are priced out of smartphones. So, you know, we can find those opportunities in a lot of places where we can provide, you know, once people are connected, they have access to education, yeah. right? They have access to Wikipedia and Google and, you know, really remarkable how that can change someone's life. Very cool. So, Founder World, you know, there's you know, thousands of people here today. It's a, it's a very busy and happening place. What drew you to this event? Well, you know, it was really uh, Harrison, who works for F50, who invited me up. Uh, and, you know, he told me about it. He got me really excited about it. Uh, and then they really wanted me to have, uh, to actually moderate a panel. Uh, and I really applaud F50 for the work they did in pulling together an amazing panel. Um, we had representation from 500 startups, Valorum Capital, Longevity Fund as well as uh, the Hawaii Angels. Um, and so it was really cool to see, you know, the women on the panel, just, just really amazing investors. Very cool. And so what were some of the main messages that kind of came out of that panel? Well, our topic, we really wanted to dive into kind of the future of venture capital, really with a focus on seed stage investing because we're all seed stage investors. Right. Uh, and so we talked a little bit about the accelerator model um, and I think one thing that, the way that investors think about accelerators is as investors, right? right? We think about accelerators as being just another model for venture capital, yep. right? Um, and, and I don't think everyone thinks about it that way. So we dove into that a little bit. We also dove into, you know, Simon, who runs uh, Valorum Capital, and her approach to seed stage investing in manufacturing and automation which is really, I think, thinking outside the box. Um, and then we had Laura Deming, who is investing at the seed stage in longevity, so extending human beings' lives. Those are two areas that you don't often see new seed stage investors entering the fray. And I applaud them for kind of their boldness and, and vision, uh, because when you talk to them, uh, they're really, uh, they know what they're doing. So last question, do you have a favorite Google technology? You know, the one that I use the most is Google Maps. I mean, I would be lost without it, That's pardon right. the pun. That's it, no, I totally agree. It gets me, gets me around for sure. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Well, Shane, thank you very much for joining us. Thank you for having me. Yeah, awesome. And thank you guys for joining us. We are on site at Founder World in San Francisco.